And to tell us more about the tricky science of typhoon prediction, we're joined this week by meteorologist Uwe Ulbrich from Berlin's Free University. Thank you so much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today. Now, this report just showed us how typhoon forms, but it still can't really say when or where it's going to hit. Um, why is that so difficult? Why is it such a challenge? Well, what we do have is predictions of the track and uh, when it is very short term, we know pretty well where it is going, going to go. But to say two days ahead is very insecure because of details of the typhoon structure. Are you going to do any new uh, developments in this area in order to improve predicting uh, when and where they're going to hit? Yes, of course. There are research programs on that. Uh, we are trying to learn more about uh, the details, how different structures of rainfall, for example, in the typhoon, it is not circular like it looks from the clouds, how they influence the path and the track of the typhoons. Now, um, in the wake of Typhoon Haiyan that we've had in the past week, I read that tropical storms in the Pacific, uh, they've increased in number and strength in the past 30 years. But I've also read that it's stayed pretty much the same. So which reports are actually true? Well, probably it is both. Um, it depends on the time that you are looking and it depends on the parameter which you are looking at. Uh, so some people say it is the question, is there Typhoon? Uh, they say, is the max what is the maximum intensity or what is the area co covered by the extreme winds? So there are different param parameters how to measure the intensity. And so the question comes up, does it increase or not? And it depends on the parameter. Has it anything to do with climate change? Are we going to expect that we're going to see uh, more severe typhoons with climate change? Well, there is a potential at least because climate change uh, has, of course, warming temperatures and warming ocean temperatures as well. And the heat that comes from the ocean is the main factor for the existence of a typhoon. And if it increases, there is a high potential of stronger and even more typhoons. Is this going to be discussed at the UN conference in Warsaw at all, do you think? Well, I think it should be discussed, but there is not only the sea surface temperature, but other factors. And so uh, the IPCC report, the Intergovernmental Panel of Climatic Change, it says, well, this is fairly an in, um, not, not well known yet uh, if typhoons are going to increase. And uh, so I rather think that they are talking more about impacts. And I would hope that they would go into the impact side there. Now, in the most recent uh, climate report we had out, uh, scientists have said with 95% certainty that climate change is human-induced. Um, but it's become a political matter, and it's as if that you know negotiations have frozen. Have we now left it too late? Well, I think that uh, the question comes up what to do with it. I mean, 95% probability, you can say that is almost sure. But uh, politicians must decide how to deal with it. And there are different measures and they are all costly. Who is going to pay? So what changes have to happen then? Well, uh, you see, I'm a scientist. And what I would wish is that the uh, science is supported in order to help uh, making these problems smaller than they could be. And one of the issues is, for example, getting better data and bet getting better research on these issues in order to say, well, can we do adaptation or not? Uwe Ulbrich, thank you so much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today.